Hi guys, welcome back to HAG Studios. Today it's all about health and I'm here with Hefziba and we're going to talk about two specific plants, the Moringa and the Guinea hen weed. Hefziba has quite a bit of knowledge on these two plants and so we're going to get as much as possible from her today. So stay with us. Zeba, welcome to HAG Studios. Thank you for having me. Uh, first, I'm going to ask you about that pretty name. <laughs> Hef Ziba. Ziba, how do you spell it? Okay, so it's H-E-P-H-Z-I-B-A-H. -H. Okay, and does it have a meaning? Definitely. Uh -huh. So it's a biblical name and uh -huh. it means God delights in her. Oh, that's a nice name to have. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank <laughs> you so much. All right. Right, so this is a guinea hen weed. Mm -hmm. It's a plant that is native to Jamaica and other tropical regions. Okay. And, yes, so we'll find this mainly in the cooler times though. Although it bears, it's a plant, it's a herb that you can find all year round. But sometimes what happens is that the plant yellows um, okay. at particular times during the year. Mm -hmm. So it thrives more under cool conditions. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we have it in the sun and we notice the leaves yellow. Mm -hmm. Right, but when you have it in the shaded area, the cool areas, mm -hmm. yes, we have it green and fresh and full of all the nutrients and the properties yeah. that we can benefit from. I know a lot of um, research has been done on guinea hen weed. Right. And I know in particular there's, it's supposed to be a cancer fighting herb. Herb, right. right. And you... so recent studies mm -hmm. have been showing, especially from our own local um, scientists, yes. they have been coming up with new information that the guinea hen weed plant is a plant that fights cancers. Cancer. Right. Yes, I've heard that. Right. How is this usually done? Is it a tea that you use it for? All right, so you make? can use the plant in many ways, you know. Mm -hmm. um, growing up, I hear about this plant. Yes. And it's something that our foreparents pounded, mm -hmm. right? That's and, everything? Right, the mm -hmm. leaves, the roots, everything. Mm -hmm. Crush it and grind it mm -hmm. and extract the juice from it. You can have the juice like that or you can use it as tea mm -hmm. or you can pound it and use a poultice and put it on you know anywhere you have pain or bruises oh, so it's and good so for on. pain it's as well it's also good for pain headaches sinus you oh. name it because it is anti-inflammatory okay right uh i think i've heard that the roots are more potent yes the uh -huh. roots of the plant so one of the things that you'll observe with the guinea hen weed is mm -hmm. that when it rains, you will smell it. And mm -hmm. not everybody can, you know, um, yes. deal with this pungent odor that it gives off. Uh -huh. So basically, the, the medicine, medicine is in all of the plants, you know, but you see the root of the plant, Mainly the that root. is where you will find the medicine. So you reap it mm -hmm. and you, you pull it out. Right, the you pull it out and it's very strong. So you have very powerful plants. So you know, so you have to go down with all of your grit and strength to okay. pull it out. Right. And so, you know, when you when you smell it, you can actually smell the medicine as well in it. Mm -hmm. Because um, and even drinking it, you will smell it in your urine, you will smell it oh. once you go to the bathroom. Okay. So that is how powerful it is. And so you have to be very careful when you're using it as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so persons have been using it a lot to fight cancer. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, to be honest or with you, is it I'm a not. It's, thing it's that a is prevention. I would say mm. preventative. So mm -hmm. remember that the whole thing of cancer is a fairly, in terms of this being used as a treatment, is mm. a fairly new development. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so back in the day, our four parents used it mainly for like fevers, colds, mm -hmm. um, as I said, pain. Your, yes. Right. So in those ways, but. The whole thing of cancer fighting is new development. Okay. So, right. The seeds, 
because it has these are the seeds right and because it has the seeds even when you pull the roots up you find that it the propagates seeds. itself right. very easily very so there's easily. not a problem with pulling up the root yes that there's mm -hmm. not a problem and i mean when you look at it you know there are very few plants that carry their seeds on them like in this manner yeah that's right. true that's yes true. so and it also flower so this these part are the of flowers it, right these little okay. things are the flowers okay and so you find that also not many persons know that these seeds can actually be eaten mm -hmm. so they might not be the taste that you're expecting or anybody would like to mm -hmm. but they, they can actually be eaten so, so you can put them on your salads you mm -hmm. can cook them Sprinkle up or you can just eat salad. them raw yeah because mm -hmm. i have them raw they're no. very small though. Mm -hmm, they're very small, but... So you have to put several in your mouth at once. Mm, well, <laughs> if you can manage the taste. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, yes, okay. Yes. So it's not a tastiest thing, it's but not. it has so many benefits. Right, right. Okay. Have you used it a lot or? Well, of course I use it a lot. <laughs> well, when I say a lot, mm -hmm. meaning in moderation, cause you know, you can't yes. overdo anything. Right. Right. So every now and then I'll have this as tea. Yes. Right. And when you say every now and then, what do you mean? Like, like once, once a, a month, week, once, once a, a month, month is yeah. enough? Yeah, once a month okay. is enough. Because if you don't really have any disease that you're fighting, fighting. in the body, mm -hmm. I mean, we're exposed to free radicals um, yes. in our environment and so on, and other environmental, um, mm -hmm. whatever it is. But yeah, I don't have it like on a consistent basis. So yeah. once a month is very good for me. So are you saying it's rich in antioxidants? It is very rich in antioxidants. Okay. Right. Okay. So as I said, um, like you use this, I use it like once a month mm -hmm. and I have my own testimony of okay. the guinea hen weed. Tell us right? about it. So I, thought this, I tell the story on my channel as well. Yes. I, when I was a little girl, you uh -huh. know, my mother had a friend and we, she want, he wanted to go to the country and so the friend, you know, put this together, man, because I was having a bout of diarrhea at the time. Uh -huh. And at first, I see something works so fast. <laughs> it worked so fast, you know. Uh -huh. And then even growing up, I, my own experience with it, mm -hmm. I've used it. Um, I just buck up into it in terms of using it for this purpose. I just uh, my monthly thing using it. Mm -hmm. I put it with the dog blood and I put it with the vervine and I boiled that as a tea and I was drinking it for a couple mornings. I really don't, I didn't record the amount of mornings because as I said, I was just doing my usual Your... monthly cleanse. Mm -hmm. And I passed out something that looks like a fibroid. Really? Yes, yes. So this thing here, it has some powerful, you know, healing properties. Yes. Right. Tell us again what it is that you boil together. Okay, so the guinea hen weed, uh -huh. the blue vervain, uh -huh. and some inflammation weed, what Jamaicans know as dog blood. Mm -hmm. Right, so I boil those together, mm -hmm. and you know, I brew that tea, and I was drinking it for a couple mornings. I don't know why I was drinking it, I don't know what prompted me, but you know, I was drinking it for a couple mornings, and I passed out what looks like a fibroid. A fibroid. Mm -hmm. Okay, did you know you had fibroids before? No, not at the time. Not okay. at the time, but when I looked at the thing and then afterwards I made the connection, connection. with what fibroids look like and I realized that it That's was what it was. One. Yeah. Okay. have to let it dry before you use it of course um, okay any medicinal herb like you know so every now and then we run the risk of just you know picking it from the garden mm -hmm. because we have it like that we'll just pick some fresh one and have it but it is advisable that whatever medicinal plant you're having or green mm -hmm. you know medicinal substance you allow it to dry for at least three days even I always wonder clear. why do you know why well uh, the the story behind it is that um, these have a certain amount of chemicals in them when you pull them up um, mm -hmm. fresh and so these chemicals could actually impact the organs the liver and the kidney so it mm -hmm. is always advisable that you allow it to at least quail before before, before using, using it, it right. okay okay all right tell me how you prepare the leaves 
how much would you use, for example? Okay, so if I'm having regular tea, uh -huh. I'm gonna use about three leaves because I don't need more than three leaves, mm -hmm. right? It's mm -hmm. that powerful and as I say, regular tea, like you're doing your mint tea or any other tea, yes. you don't need a lot. So three leaves, And you're sufficient. not doing it daily. And I'm you're not doing, doing it maybe it once, once a month, month or right. twice a month, Very maybe. Good. Wouldn't yeah. be too bad. That's not too bad. All right. So now if I'm having it as medicine though, mm -hmm. I usually brew like the root of it mm -hmm. and we, you know use that as tea so for instance for things like uh diarrhea mm -hmm. i'd brew like the root of it and mm -hmm. i put it with some orange skin and my children can testify uh -huh. <laughs> i don't take them to the doctor for that yeah i use that and even for myself that's what i use as well to deal with things like diarrhea uh -huh. vomiting and so on do you pound the root no it's we fine don't, to just, just put it right fine, in fine how long would it stay in the pot so um you can allow it to boil like about five to ten minutes mm -hmm. right and then you allow it to steep a little bit mm -hmm. and we drink it cool when we're drinking it as medicine so we never mm -hmm. usually drink it hot okay right and i know some persons as well so that you're not to boil your yes. your herbs I've some people that. draw but mm -hmm. again if you're having your herbs as teas like just, you know, you're not having any challenge, any medical challenge and so on. Mm. You can always steep your teas. Yeah. But if you are going to be using it for its medicinal properties, then that's when you boil. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it doesn't destroy And it any does of not it. destroy. Look okay. here, the father know what he's doing. Yes. It, it won't destroy <laughs> the properties as yeah. opposed to what a lot of persons think. Yeah. Right. Okay. It's unusual to see somebody as young as you talking about medicinal plants. What prompted your interest? Well, uh, you know, experiencing the healing properties and benefits of the plant at a very tender age, I think I could have been about seven or eight, uh -huh. one of those ages. Uh -huh. And I mean, when I experienced the benefits, I of using the guinea hen, the that's, guinea where hen that's where it started. Right, I was just thrown, thrown aback with how powerful the plant was at that age and so you know growing up I started taking more interest into this as well as other medicinal plants and also growing up around a mother who has a garden mm -hmm. right I also we're in fact standing in her garden exactly yeah <laughs> and um, she knows a lot about these she plants and lot. the benefits as well very well okay yes. and she passes on some of that information to me as mm -hmm. well as you know I don't know, it could be some divine order, but everywhere I go, there's somebody talking to me about herb or some kind of plant, even when I don't even know them. Okay. So I don't well, know. But you have a blog. Yes, and I And you do. have had a blog for how long? I've had a blog since 2011. And uh -huh. this was one of the very first plants I wrote about on that blog. Uh huh. Right, the guinea hen weed. Okay, what's the name of your blog? So the blog is called Alternative Medicine Bush Doctor. Okay. Yes. Okay. So I think we have spoken about the guinea hen weed, but I want to know more about the moringa because I have this tree and I'm wasting it. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> you need to invite us up to get some of what you have up there. Yes, I have a tree which I actually cut back. Oh, I see it's opening on me. Right. Yeah. So tell me more about this one now, the moringa. So the Moringa has become my specialty uh -huh. and it all started with a lady, as I said, just walked up to me and asked me if I know about a tree named Moringa. Really? Just like that. And so, you, you think know, she might have seen your blog? No, no, really? I highly doubt it. I, okay. it. I don't know. How, that's, that's what I was explaining earlier. Yes. I don't know how persons just, I don't know if it's our look. I don't know what it is. <laughs> right. So she just walked up to me and then, you know, she started telling me about it and I started doing some research. Mm -hmm. And in doing the research, I found out that this is mm -hmm. a very powerful plant. Yes. The Moringa, the Moringa tree. 
That's mm -hmm. why I got it, you know, because I heard it was so powerful. I think it was Latoya who told me about it first, right, Latoya? And um, I went straight and got a plant. Okay. And it, it grows so quickly. Fast, yes. Yeah, but the thing is, I guess I'm overwhelmed because I have so many of these seed pods, I have the, and I'm not using it enough. Okay, well you need so, to start using it. So tell me how. Okay, so <laughs> we also, we're, well, our main focus with the Moringa oil. Mm -hmm, because you, we're gonna talk about your line of products. Right, okay. Uh -huh, but it's mainly with Moringa? Mainly Moringa. Okay. Right, mm -hmm. so the Moringa, we use the seeds to make mm. oil. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of persons would say, oh, you're so generous, generous, but I share how to make the oil on my very own channel. Okay. Right? So that other persons who want to, yes. you know, to make their own oil because this is a very powerful stuff. So the Moringa seed oil, mm -hmm. it has anti-aging properties. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you my age on screen, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, so it has anti-aging properties. Uh -huh. It has anti inflammatory properties and mm -hmm. so it's very good for things like like arthritis okay. good for the brain as well mm -hmm. um, it has antioxidants mm -hmm. vitamin E it's um, omega fatty acids yes and so you know it has a lot of benefits yes um, you know you don't have to wait until you get sick or so to take these things prevention is, right. better, prevention than is better than cure uh -huh. so for me I take my moringa seed oil mm -hmm. I take it internally I use it on my face. If there was something else to do with it, and if I could afford to, I would cook with it. Mm -hmm. Because, yes, it's very powerful stuff. It's one of those oils that is multi-purpose, right? Mm -hmm. And as I said, you can use it internally and you can use it externally. Mm -hmm. um, if you're using it internally, even better because it's going to work faster. Mm -hmm. So like, um, as I said before, your joints, it's, it's very good for lubricating the joints, mm -hmm. you know, after a while, you know, the wear and tear of the joints. Mm -hmm. So this is really good for it. It, it, it is good for things like arthritis, arthritic conditions, rheumatoid arth arthritis and so on. Mm -hmm. um, the leaves now, we also use the leaves mm -hmm. and the leaves can be used in many ways because um, the research is showing that the Moringa powder that comes from the leaves, mm -hmm. right? It has so many different vitamins. You can mm -hmm. literally ditch your um, supplements, supplements uh -huh. and just take your Moringa, Moringa powder. But yeah. again, I would caution against overuse because okay. you know we can't overdo a good thing not even water mm -hmm. so yes you can take your moringa powder because it has protein it has vitamin c vitamin e iron and you know for the ladies who are experiencing you mm -hmm. know um, anemic conditions mm -hmm. it has iron it has okay. vitamin the vitamin b the different types of so um, it's a complete multivitamin so it's a, it is a multivitamin yeah right okay. so um you can use the leaves in many ways you can spring. You have to dry them. Right. So mm -hmm. you air dry them. Some persons would actually use them in like uh, dehydrate them. But we just, you know, to me, it's better for you to air dry. So you're mm -hmm. maintaining all the or most of the properties of the leaves. Uh -huh. Right. The leaves you can put in your smoothies. You can put in your juice. You can put in your, you can sprinkle it over your food, you can put in your porridge, you can put in your soup. What? Right. <laughs> and also, again, I love my, my dumplings with little greens in it. So, oh, so you yes, mix you it can into make the... your moringa powder, you know, um, mm -hmm. things expensive nowadays, but you, you have to try, you know. Yeah. Boost the diet, boost up whatever you have to get the most out of it. Uh -huh. And so using a little bit of moringa powder in the white flour, it goes a far away. Okay, yes, so you mix it in and make so dumplings. So you mix it in and you make your dumplings. Okay, I'm going to try that one yes. because I love dumplings. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. Okay. Um, tell me more about how you extract the oil. I know for your business, and mm. we're going to look at that, mm. um, you have machines right but say for me now who just make the pods them stay there and everything dry out dry off right uh-huh what you said i can pound them all right so the first thing you I would have use to a do, little mortar eh? right but the first thing you would have to do can you hold it yeah thing, man mm -hmm. you'd have to break them out of the casing uh-huh right 
And by the way, this part of it can be used to make paper. Right? Okay. This little part here mm -hmm. can be used to make mm -hmm. paper. Alright, so we break them out of the casing and okay. then we have uh, this little seed here. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then you have to have quite a lot to get um a good amount, yeah, of, a good oil. amount of oil. So uh -huh. it's a lot of break, it's a lot of work, it's very labor intensive. Mm -hmm. So you break them out and then you pound them mm -hmm. and uh, when it you can literally squeeze the oil out of it. You know, mm, because when you're pounding, you're you going to see, see some oil. oil. Right. And just in the same way that you make your castor oil, you boil it until the oil starts rising to the top. The only difference with this, because it is a much lighter oil than castor, castor oil. oil. If you, are not, you have to skim it. Okay. You have to skim it as okay. soon as you see the, the oil start rising to the top. Okay. And then you can put it on again, just like mm -hmm. with the castor oil, and allow the, the liquid to vaporize. Okay. and then you will get your oil okay yes. okay so when you you actually cold press some of right. yours we cold press all of our oil is all of press. your oil right because if i was to do it use that, that process i would not be able to bring it to the market where persons can actually or mm -hmm. the normal person can actually mm -hmm. afford to buy it yes and tell me again you said it can be used on the skin on the skin and you can also ingest it. Yes. And that means you get your your vitamins. Right, right. Just by ingesting, ingesting some it, of the right. oil. And okay. I mean, some persons as well can't take the taste of the seed. Yes. They don't get that um, taste from the oil. Oh. So um, the, more, the, the, the part that has that kind of weird taste is mm. the seed itself yeah. and not the oil. So you won't get that bad taste from the oil. Okay. The oil it has a very nutty flavor once you have this oil how much would you say you take say you're using it as a multivitamin mm -hmm. would you take like a teaspoon or half a tea that would be very concentrated so maybe roughly so, how much so if you're just you? starting you can start with a few drops or a quarter teaspoon oh okay. but like for me who i've been taking it for a while and i take it only three times for the week yeah the oil i mm -hmm. only take it three times for the week i take it with my molasses mm -hmm. so um i take like a tablespoon wow mm -hmm. okay yeah and it keeps your system all clean clean and even those joint pains that i used to have going up the steps you used to have joint pains yes man <laughs> all the, my knees you would hear them you could hear me from a distance coming up the steps really yeah man and so i've been taking my moringa seed oil uh -huh. and i've been getting a lot of relief from that see them yes. <laughs> yes your mom was telling me that she used it to right, for, what they say again sap mm -hmm. sap or rub. Wherever, uh, yeah wherever she has a pain she uses it and it works like magic. Yeah, man. Uh -huh. Something that works. Okay. I've heard that moringa is also good for high blood pressure, which you and diabetes, which you know are very common right. in Jamaica and around the world. So it's used for that mainly as a tea, just in the ways you do it. If right. it's a powder on your in your green juice or your juice or sprinkled on your salad or the flowers on your salad yes yes all of these things help yes all of these things help yeah and as a matter of fact mm -hmm. the moringa leaves you can put them with the same guinea hen weed mm -hmm. leaves that i show you the vervine the mm -hmm. inflammation weed that we also call dog blood mm -hmm. and you can boil those and you can use them as a vaginal steam and let me tell you you're not going to have you're, you're not going to be making much more visits for a yeast infection to uh -huh. the doctor. Yeah, it very, cures that. It, it, yes, it assists okay. with that. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good. So moringa is like this miraculous plant. Yes, yes. They call it the miracle tree. That's the, the miracle other name tree. For it, the miracle oh, really? Tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So pretty much everything on it is good for you. Yes. The seeds, the bark, the flowers. I've heard of persons using the very young seed pods. Um, to cook with yes definitely uh -huh. definitely yeah you just mm -hmm. cut it up like how you cut up string beans right, right? right. And, and put it in your stir fry, fry. And, 
it's it's very crispy and tender and nice and nice yeah man it has a good taste it has very good taste all right yeah, oh, hefziba i just love saying that name <laughs> <laughs> um i know you and your husband you both do this um you you produce a number of products using mainly moringa right so tell us about some of these okay so we have the moringa seed oil mm -hmm. as i said that's our signature product yeah and then this what's the name of the, your brand what's it it's called it's fziba earth essentials okay right okay and so from the oil you know i was using it for my own hair um, because i was suffering from androgenic alopecia where i was told by the trichologist that i would have been bald by a certain age mm -hmm. right but to god be the glory we still have a lot of hair on the head yes yes so we use the moringa seed oil we have that as one product all on its own where you can mm -hmm. ingest it but then a byproduct of that is our hair growth oil so we fuse that the hair growth oil with a couple other seed oils like our neem seeds pumpkin seeds and castor oil we fuse that and mm -hmm. we have a hair growth oil that you can use to use for the hair if you're having challenges with growing the hair or for or if you're balding right mm -hmm. um i want to make the and disclaimer you can though, testify to that i can one. testify to that but <laughs> i want to make the disclaimer though that even though you're using these things on your hair they need to be in the system okay right you can as above so below so you can treat outside and not treat inside yes so it's a holistic um approach pro, pro, yeah approach mm -hmm. right and then from that we also have our moringa powder right that we grind from the seeds and we usually do that fresh so that's freshly done and then we have our hair growth tea made of fenugreek seeds cloves and um rosemary mm -hmm. and soon i've heard of rosemary being something hair, that's good right. for hair so how is that one used so that one you can boil it you can you can boil it and you can drink it as tea or you can boil it and you can also um mist it on the hair and leave it on and your leave hair it on, yeah, okay does it smell on. good um nothing good sometimes nothing good sometimes smell good <laughs> 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 okay right. so, so that's one of your products yes that's one uh -huh. of the products we offer uh -huh. and then we're coming on stream now um, with our fertility tea what? because you know I've mentioned this on my channel and I've been getting a lot of calls so we've been putting those herbs together to do a blend of herbs um, for that kind of thing fertility and hormone okay. so I'd more want to call it a womb tea Okay. Right. So you have done a lot of research lot where of that research. is concerned right. and you're now getting ready to, to come out with that product. That product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. So the fertility tea, is that just for women? No man, the men we're not leaving you out. <laughs> men can also take it to these plants, especially the guinea and that is so good for the prostate. Yes, men can also take the teas as well. Yeah. Mm. Oh that's good. Yes. Yeah. So how can viewers watching this program get a hold of your products? Okay, so at this point, we have a store on Q Mall, uh -huh. Q-M-A-L-L, -L, and that is a Jamaican version of Amazon. Uh -huh. So that's where you can purchase and our orders, your orders will be delivered by DHL or by Tara Courier. And right, and we ship internationally as well. Oh, that's great. All right. Well, okay. Our locals and for those internationally as well can call us at 876-437-0256. And we will deliver island-wide via one of the courier services. Okay. Yes. That's great to yes. hear. Thank you. Thank you. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Ziva, thanks so much for having us. I've learned so much today and I'm sure our viewers have learned a lot from what you have said. And we're not going to take guinea hen weed 
or Moringa for granted anymore. Definitely not. Yes. And so we're going to be looking out for your products as well. Okay. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Okay. And, and thank, thank you guys for watching. I hope, like me, you have learned a lot today. Remember now to like, share with your friends, comment, and subscribe if you haven't yet done so. And I'll see you next time.